guys, this I just play with learn about learn about lookup table. First thing is what is lookup table and why we are using lookup table. In simple words, lookup table is used to approximate the function. Uh, in some cases, when you have some uh, data points, input and output data points, or some experiment results, for uh, some number of uh, input variables. Uh, in that case, with the help of uh, lookup table, you can create uh, or you can approximate the function, and you will you can find the output with the different different input. Other than uh, also other than the initial inputs for which you have you already had the data points. Like in this example, uh, in some experiments we have input A and B. Here A and B are our input variables, and T is our output. In this case, for this uh, experiment we had taken three values of A. 10 50 and 70 and three values of b so total combination will be 9 so we have performed some nine experiments and we got this all these outputs but uh, after that in my simulations uh, i want this output as uh, for more other than uh, for a value uh, other than this uh, three values for a and B also. I want output for number of A and B so many. So in that case, what I can do, I can take, I can create a lookup table from this input data A and B, and output T. And once I create the, once my lookup table is ready, I can give any input other than this three, and that lookup table will give me output. So let's see how can we do that. In MATLAB simulation. Okay, uh, in the simulink library, you will find various uh, lookup tables. Uh, 1D lookup table if you have only one variable, 2D lookup table if you have two variables, and the lookup tables for n variables. So in 1 and 1D and 2D are simply a subset of this ND uh, lookup table. Okay, so once you drag and drop a lookup table from library, once you open, you need to add these parameters. The first tab is the table and breakpoint. The first this number of uh, table dimension. This means number of input variables. We here in our case we have two, so I have selected two. Then this table data. Table data is nothing but this is the output. What I am expecting, what we are expecting. And what uh, we have from our experiment results that we have, we are adding here. The breakpoint is breakpoint one is our uh, variable one. And these three values are our variable one value. Breakpoint two is our variable two. So for A and B we have these three three values. So total combinations is nine. So our total output will be nine. Here you can calculate total nine. And this three is uh, indicating the number of uh, values or breakpoint for variable one. The second digit will, is indicating the number of values for breakpoint two. You can also add these uh, uh, values in the uh, in the form of table. That will be easy to understand. See, this is your variable one. This is your variable two. We have three three values for both, so total our combination is nine. So here we have to add total. Uh, here we have to add the results, our function results. So once we add these uh, values, our uh, lookup tab table is now ready. Now we can check our output for a number of values. Other also other than this. Uh, input variable values 
this is the minimum and this is the maximum uh, input variable values what we have what we are using for creating this lookup table if our uh, when we are uh, checking uh, output for different different variable and in that case if our variable value is in between these values in that case our uh, lookup table uh, will do interpolation if our variable value is out of range in that case it will do extrapolation for this interpolation and extrapolation we have different options we can select the algorithm for interpolation and extrapolation linear cubic flat uh, as per our function or as per our uh, understanding of our experiment we can select that uh, so we can get more exact results here in for table data and breakpoints you can also create a variable and you can directly write the variable a b and you have to store that variable in our workspace you know the you, here in workspace okay so our, now my lookup table is ready so here i have given 0 for a and 90 for b and i am checking it gives me the function uh, here I just I give the example of experiment in reality I have taken the value for this output value through this function cos a plus sin b is equal to my output so in that case cos 0 is 1 sin 90 is 1 so I should get 2 so I am getting this 2 nearly 2 because I have not added the exact values now I will change this one to 90 and this to 0 now cos 90 is 0 and sin 0 is also 0 so I should get the result 0 now I am running the simulation ok it is nearly 0 so our lookup table is working good So as this is the lookup uh, table and how we can use. In most of cases when we are using, uh, when we are feeding data from some plot, in that case we are using the lookup table. Suppose in uh, in my hydraulic circuit I am using some uh, directional control valve. And for controlling the valve opening, how many times it should open, uh, that is given in this chart. But in this chart it is given for flow value 0 to 10 and pressure value 100 to 500. So I will feed this chart to my lookup table and this turn is my output. This flow and pressure is my input and this turn will be my output. So once my lookup table is ready I can find the uh, wall opening or this turn for any value of this flow. For 9 also for 12. When it is 9 or when it is less than 10, it will do interpolation. When it is greater than 10, in that case, it will do extrapolation. Here, uh, I have also created 1D lookup table. It is nothing but just, it will create your input to output, single variable. Uh, either you can, uh, when you are sensing some pressure, your pressure sensor will give you output in terms of volt that you can multiply with some multiplication factor and you can convert into PSI here. Here I am adding the angle and I am calculating the uh, tangential value of that angle. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any confusion or any query, please add the comment. Thank you.